G'day and welcome to McMaster's Beach. Well, today I'm not going to actually paint the beach. I am going to paint this pine tree from the other side. Now I'm going to use my artistic license and change it a little bit um, because you can't really see the water. So I'm going to make it so you can see the water. So that's the plan today. So yeah, beautiful day today. It's a little bit windy. I've checked out that area up there. It's very beautiful. That beach up there is called Copacabana. And I was going to paint at Copacabana. It was actually spectacular. It was so beautiful. But the wind was crazy. So I decided to come down here. And I thought I want to do something different. So I'm going to have a go at painting this tree up here. This pine tree. But I'm going to be looking through the tree at the water. So that's the plan. So yeah, beautiful day today. So yeah, let's get up and um, get this painting done and use a little bit of artistic license today. Okay, so I will show you guys how I'm looking. So what I've got, there's my washing place. So basically, I'm gonna do this tree, but um, you're gonna be able, I'm not gonna have as many branches, you'll be able to see the water and a crashing wave in the background. So there's my washing place. Got all my paints here, I've got vermilion, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, cad yellow, viridian, uh, ultramarine blue, bit of cobalt blue and titanium white, so let's paint. Okay, I'm gonna start with that brush is a bit a bit hard. I'm gonna start with the sky. Just a wash, like house house paint consistency here. Gonna bring it much lighter as I come down. I really want to emphasize the light behind the tree. So as I come down, it'll get all hazy. So I'll be adding more titanium white. Because I've got the wash already in place, it will, um, I'll leave the, the wash blues there and I'll just work it into it, nice and thin. Okay, so, I got my sky in and then I got my water in, but now I use the brush just to do the thin areas, but now I'm going to use the palette knife and get some waves and texture and thickness into it. I'll start using the palette knife now as I come in. Yeah, these little, this one here, it's Italian, costs about $10, $12 from the art store, really, really good. Well worth it. making a wave color here yeah something like that
car. I'll get some sand in now. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the um, there's a bit of green grass just behind the the um, or the mulch in that here bit of green grass behind there I'm going to chuck that in chuck that in here and then get this in and then start shaping the tree up Okay, what I'm going to do now is get the tree, get the tree in place. I'm going to work it up, work up the shadow, get the shapes in. So yeah, when you when you look at the tree, like it's dark from a distance, it looks black. But then when you get up close, it's dark, but it's not that dark. It's got a, it's got a lot of light in there too. It's it's a warm color. So the colors that I've mixed is I've mixed the ultramarine blue, a burnt sienna, and a vermilion. And um, I'll get the darkest darks of, of that in and then I'll line it up as I go. I'm not going to chuck um, too many branches in as I, you want to be able to see the water and the, and the sand in the background. So yeah, let's have a look and see how we go. I want it to be as rustic as I can. Ground's a bit liner. The light's coming from the left, so I will make it all a lot lighter than what it actually is.
So yeah, it's slowly coming together. Oh, it's nice in the sun. Oh, a bit cold in the shade. So yeah, let's have a look at it. Slowly building it up. Don't want it to go too crazy. I've got to just chip away and then I'll get some light into it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is get some highlights of this tree in. Okay, so I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, hmm, this one here, I need to somehow compensate them. Basically, when I look at it, I see this guy here. So I think what I need to do is do a tree, a branch going off in the other direction to take your eye away from that. So let's um, see what I can do. Maybe. Hello. It's a little bit better, a little bit better. So yeah, I'm getting there. I'll show you guys where I'm at. 
wasn't happy with this part here but I'm going to put some highlights in and then we'll just have a look at it from there I guess so I've made up a highlights colour here we'll get some highlights in and see how she looks Thanks, buddy. Just certain bits that the um, highlight is hidden makes it look really, really good. Just catching here and there. Okay, I've done the painting at McMaster's Beach. Let's go have a look at it, eh? Okay, let's have a look. 
So yeah, there, there it is. I think I had it a bit better than what it was and I sort of lost it a bit with this, but um, yeah, anyway, you live and you learn. I think it's okay though, it turned out all right. You know, the, 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 the thing is you don't lie to yourself. If it's no good, it's no good. So you can learn and improve in the next one. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Catch you in the next one. See ya.